when you announced the World Boxing Super Series a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, I noticed a big difference compared to when you uh, announced the Super Six tournament a few years ago. Back then you had sort of everything all tied up, all the promoters were on board, all the fighters were lined up, everything. And then things happened, of course, but everything was lined up from the start. Yeah. This time there are no fighters, you have to deal with promoters, you have to choose weight classes, right. and, and wh why is that different? Um, the difference is, is, is that two different things. Um, Super 6 was a, um, was a Showtime tournament, uh, which was uh, a series of array, you know, pre-agreed fights uh, with pre-agreed fighters. Um, everyone signed a multi-fight output deal with, with uh, Showtime, so it was more or less a TV deal. And that was then put into a, a marketing package called the Super Six. So it was basically grown from the bottom up. We made a series of fights, and then we put the branding around it. And this is exactly the opposite. Um, this is not about one season. It's not about one weight class. This is about a, a very, uh, a very serious group of individuals who've got together, um, and uh, that doesn't refer to myself. <laughs> that refers to uh, my partners, uh, or our partners in the project. Um, and you know they they've created a we've created together a a, a very very exciting concept we feel uh, that will um, that will change the world of boxing for the better for everyone. It's not that we're trying to replace something, Henry. It's that we're trying to 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 add something. You know, so we're not trying to replace you know the, the sanctioning bodies. We're not trying to replace any promoters. Um, we're, we're simply we're adding a lot of money into the world of boxing, and uh, and I think that's a good thing, you know. And, and you know the fact that uh, they haven't, the, the weight class haven't been announced yet that was, that's part of the plan. You know, at the end, end of April, uh, those should be out there, and we won't be you know we won't be rushed or anything. We we we, we have our plan. We have the right partners on board to make this happen in a, in a very very good way. So that means you must be well on the way with negotiations with promoters. We are, we are, Henry, working on this in a way that we will deliver something very great. Because you could imagine when you have to deal with promoters in this one, you have a Bob Arum who won't deal with uh, Oscar De La Hoya, who won't Correct. deal with, and all that sort of stuff. All these competitors who sometimes try to keep things for themselves. We've separated it quite nicely. So I mean, Richard is taking care of America. Um, you know, he has a sensational network uh, of fighters he works with, clients, partners. Um, but it's open for any promoter. You know, so once we've got those weight classes in place, um, and that will be a decision made not by myself alone, not by Richard alone, not by it will be made by the board of Camosa, and um, that company. Will basically instruct us what, what the weight classes are, and we will then arrange the pool of fighters, which will then ultimately be, be selected by uh, by the expert panel. You know, so I think that from the system, it's it's quite clear. Um, but as I said, you know, when when uh, when we have the weight classes, you'll see that, you know, you'll see that the names drop into place quite nicely. Uh, you said around the announcement that there was a good chance that Copenhagen would be a part of the loop. Do you have an arena right across the street that would be... Yeah, Parkin is beautiful, Juska Bank Boxing is beautiful, um, I love Bromby as well, we've got great arenas here. But How do you see the chances right now? It's not, it's not linked with, uh, it wasn't linked at the time with Michael Kessler. If it goes for the super middleweights, and Michael Kester would go in, then of course we'll be in Denmark. Um, if, if it's not, I would still look at Denmark with a strong Danish support card and do an event here because I think there's a lot of sporting appetite in this country. And I think you know to bring you know, if we bring the Champions League to Denmark is an interesting thing.